So I want to do a, a different kind of video today. So I wanted to show you guys, if you guys are looking to get into YouTube, Twitch streaming, or anything like that, content creation in general, I wanted to show you guys the programs and stuff I use on my channel to get everything rolling and going. And if you guys want to start your own channels or in your process of starting your own channels, I just thought I could give some people some kickstart ideas to see what programs you can use for editing, for streaming, recording, uh, photoshopping if you don't actually want to this is basically this is honestly going to be like a frugal version of everything because i don't honestly pay for a lot of the stuff that i use i use free trials and stuff like that because i don't have the money to go out there and pay for all this stuff so i hope a lot of this could help you guys as beginner content creators like myself and i just wanted to see if i can give you guys some help So we're going to start off with the recording software I use, and that is Streamlabs OBS. Yes, I don't actually use regular OBS because I don't like the layout. Uh, Streamlabs OBS is much more user friendly, and if you want to click the link in the description below, if you download it, you can help out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, not shameless plug, right? So. You guys want to take a look as you can see I do have a second screen it is almost imperative that you have a second screen if you're trying to stream because you need to have your chat your recording software your, and if you're higher up there you get like donations and bits and stuff like that you're gonna want a second screen you can obviously use your phone to like watch your stream make sure audio is good and all that but I use Streamlabs OBS as you can see by the infinite display here I have a bunch of different scenes I have a bunch of different things I used to have different uh, themes for my stream before I revamped it I haven't gotten rid of those uh, currently, I use Neon City, which is one of their default themes, because Streamlabs has a lot of... Okay, this is going to be a little weird for a second, but they have a bunch of different themes that you can use. If you go to their theme store, I don't know if clicking on it is going to mess anything up, but you can go to their theme store. Actually, you know what? Let's just give it a shot. Oh, yeah, it works just fine. If you go to their, theme, your, their themes, I wouldn't say store because you don't have to pay for them, but you can get like different preset ideas for your stream if you like a certain theme or maybe even like a certain color or a certain game type these can help you out and get your stream looking good if you're just doing youtube you only really need to use scenes so if you're gonna do anything on youtube or twitch i would highly highly recommend streamlabs obs <laughs> next we're going to move on to editing and one thing I forgot to mention about Streamlabs OBS is it also takes all of your notifications for all your streams and puts them right there so you can see so you don't have to have a separate tab open for Streamlabs because Streamlabs is one of the most commonly used things for notifications for new subs new followers donations bits all of that highly recommend it and now we're going to move on to editing software unlike rest the rest of the youtubers out there I don't actually own uh, Adobe Premiere I hate Adobe Premiere I did not like it when I tried to use it I like to stick with the uh, good old-fashioned Sony Vegas I know there are some uh, content creators out there that like using Sony Vegas and honestly I do too I learned Sony Vegas pretty quick self self-taught if there's a lot of uh, good tutorial videos out there if you're trying to get some extra knowledge like there's some with like chroma keying and how to speed up and slow down video types and stuff like that that I didn't understand how to do and I couldn't find on the help section on Vegas so I would definitely look up some YouTube videos there's a lot of videos and tutorials out there so I wouldn't want to make one myself because there's a lot better ones out there that you could definitely watch so if you're going to do anything uh, Adobe Premiere Sony Vegas anything like that's going to work I use Sony Vegas for personal preference it's a lot easier as you can see this is the editing station down here. You can put all your stuff up here that keeps all of your uh, your scenes, all of your videos, all of your PNGs. And I would highly, highly recommend learning how to create your own PNGs, make a, uh, a uh, transparent background picture. So when you put stuff in your videos, you don't get like a white background or something like that. I'll get more into that when I get into my uh, picture and editing and my thumbnail creation. But yeah, the Sony Vegas is honestly my favorite way to edit. It's a lot quick and easy. Rendering is really quick especially if you have a nice CPU. So now we're gonna go on to other game capturing devices that I use. So as I said in a video more recently, I just got myself an Elgato HD 60S for Christmas, which is very nice. This allows me to capture console soft, console software such as uh, the Switch, the Xbox, PS4, and even it does help with PC sometimes. You can stream directly from it. 
Um, right now I have it hooked up to my Switch with all my stuff on it. I recently just bought Hollow Knight. Highly recommend this game. Having a lot of fun with it so far. Definitely a video coming on that soon. But the Elgato's HD60X comes with the game capture software and, sa and Elgato sound capture. Uh, it's very complicated to get into all of this because if you don't have one, it's kind of hard to explain. But basically, it allows you to connect an HDMI from your PC to your switch or xbox or anything and you can plug it back into your monitor and you can watch and play and stream it um it is fast enough on my hd60s that i do not have to have my second monitor with my switch on it i can watch it directly from here because if you i think if you click here and like hold it for a second it'll go full screen i hope it'll actually do that there you go and it's almost it it is it, no, if there is a input delay on here, it is not noticeable in the slightest. It is honestly so great to be able to play, stream, record, uh, just make content from the HD 60s and the Elgato Game Capture, 100%. And it will also capture audio from Discord, Skype, Teamspeak, whatever you use to talk to people. I don't know if there's any other like voice chat things out there. Razer comms used to be a thing, not anymore. But if you're get, you really want to get into console capture with the Switch or something like that, there are some workarounds with the three with the Xbox One, and it's kind of hard to do. So I would honestly highly recommend if you're going to do console capturing software, I would invest yourself in a good capture card. Last but certainly not least, you will see up here, I do have the Adobe Creative Cloud, which I used to use when I had a Photoshop trial. I have not gotten myself back around to doing it anymore. But if you do open up a good old-fashioned Chrome tab, hit that nice full screen right there, click right here, and you get to Pixlr Editor, which is an online Photoshop, which I use for all of my thumbnails, all of my photo editing that I need to do. No, I'm not going to get rid of Adblock, you can bite me. Also, invest yourself in Adblock, kids. If you want to support your favorite creators, obviously turn off Adblock on their sites or on their videos or on their Twitch streams. But I would highly recommend for sites like this. So all you gotta do is get past all the ad blocking stuff because they like to have their ads on their site. And I know it looks a little bit... Ooh, can't see all those yet. Those are some videos that haven't been released yet with pictures. Ah! Alright, well actually it will open up uh, my Skyblock thumbnail to make it a lot easier. As you guys can see... We have the whole thing right here. I don't know if I can move any of the stuff around that's already on there. No, I can't. So, how I make my thumbnails is pretty easy. Uh, I usually just take a picture. Like, I have a stock Skyblock uh, uh, picture for Skycade and all that. But for different videos, I'll obviously make a thumbnail that looks appealing with high color. Really flashy colors, really bright and makes people want to go and see it. Uh, I do not like clickbaiting my titles. Have I done it before for iron ironic effect? Yes, but I do not like clickbaiting my thumbnails. I'll go right to the point, exactly what you're going to see in the video. Skycade Skyblock, it was a cow farm tutorial on my island, and it's the second season of my Skyblock series, episode number five. Um, if you want to teach yourself how to use, if you know basic Photoshop, this almost exactly mirrors Photoshop. So, and it's free. If you, if you don't want to pay for Photoshop, you don't have the money for Photoshop, like an actual like Creative Cloud license, 100% would recommend doing this. It can do everything. It takes a little bit to learn because some of the things are a little wonky, but it's 100% I would recommend doing this. It's a lot easier than having to buy Photoshop. It's very simple. Um, it's easy to make thumbnails. My thumbnails, I think, in my opinion, look pretty good. Don't want to toot my own horn, but I like my thumbnails. The um, font I use for my uh, thumbnails, by the way, is Comica Access, which I've never heard of before, but one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Jericho, uses this, uh, um, this font style. I asked him one time in a live stream what uh, font he used, and he gave it to me, so I was pretty happy about that. So Comica Access is the one. How do you even... I don't even know how you like pronounce that. I have it on my list here. Let's see. There it is, Comica Access. Comica Access, yep. That is it right there. So you guys want to use that uh, font. I really like it. It's big, it's flashy. When you want to get it nice and bold, it looks really good, and I really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming and getting your daily dose of vitamin P. If you guys want more daily doses of vitamin P, please check out the rest of the videos of my channel. I really hope I helped some people get some programs down that they want to use, and I hope I get... Maybe, I hope if I helped you guys, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can also hit that the link in the description box below. Also, with this, uh, the Streamlabs uh, download link, it's also going to be in the description box below. It's going to have my affiliate link on it because I am a Streamlabs affiliate. If you click on that, it does support the channel. And, yep, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and take care.